Uh, my name is Jennifer Egan and I am a gluten-free baker. Uh, nice to see you guys. Uh, my name is Andrea, Andrea Ward. I'm half Hungarian, half German, and the company is a heart and soul bakery. My name is Alice. Gabriele, the one side of food. I'm uh, Dan Murphy, this is Mo. I'm Smo, uh, and we work in the Irish charcoal barbecue. My name is Marco, and I work for Lilliput Trading Company. So everything that you see today is made with uh, ground almond polenta and I don't use dairy, I use rapeseed oils instead. We are really, really proud of our produce. Uh, every product made of natural ingredients. We don't use sugar, we don't use uh, artificial additives and preser preservatives uh, ingredients. Uh, and everything is home grown and absolutely Irish is a mix of music and food. We bring uh, in the market uh, Italian, original Italian recipes uh, for sandwiches, like porchetta, pork, Italian sausages, parma ham, buffalo mozzarella, and uh, sun dried tomatoes. Yeah, and we're doing uh, hot dog, we're doing uh, burger, we're doing chicken burger, we're doing all the things, uh, you know. It's, we, we, we do markets on weekends in different locations and uh, we do old sale to restaurants and, uh, and we have a shop as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a number of other markets and have been for the last couple of years and there's a small network of markets and I, I, I'm currently in Herbert Park and I heard about this market through other traders who were there. So uh, yeah, it's fantastic. I've, I've actually, I was here several years ago, um, but this is my first time trading, so I'm a newbie. Well, we come here because we collaborated with Jackie Spilan, who is the organizer of the markets, and uh, she won us here and uh, she gave us the chance to start to train here and this is our second uh, Saturday so we're looking forward to see what happens. <laughs> We've been working for the last six years in St. Anne's. Yeah, so it's been getting busier and busier every year. Uh, I'm, I'm a chef, I work in the kitchen preparing all the products and I work at the, uh, at the weekends in markets too. Nice parks, really. You know, it's nice to hunting there. It's lovely history here now in the park. Now, you know, yeah. and it's close to town and uh, it's great lovely, customers. Yeah, great area here now to be. Well, I think the setting is beautiful. The stables and the courtyard with the cafe are a lovely um, addition. This is a lovely park. It's it's a nice park to come to, and uh, I like the people that works here as well. We we meet them in other. Uh, markets as well so we know each other. Um, the, the actual experience as a trader here is probably the only thing I can uh, tell you about. The, the, the rest of the traders are very friendly so it's, it's a nice environment and it's a nice market to, to partake in so so far so good. We just saw kind of uh, opening for something different, you know, and the way we do it is different because we use Namibian lump wood charcoal, so yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Namibia's in Africa. It just gives a distinctive flavour to the food. So uh, yeah, it's we nice. have fresh food and fresh hot dog, fresh burgers, all just coming in the morning now, you know, and it's absolutely beautiful. That's because, of course, we have passion in music, so we decided to give names of the sandwiches of our one of our favorite musicians. So, say for example, the Jimi Hendrix. It's uh, actually the best seller, and it's uh, Italian sausages and friarielli, which is uh, the translation of it's broccoli rabe, and it's a traditional recipe from Naples. And it's a definitely a rock and roll <laughs> sandwich. So here you go, Jimi Hendrix, and uh, and the same for the other sandwiches. Like we basically give some. We think of the name. Uh, we think of the we think of the sandwich usually, and then we give the name. I think 
this area, the Sentence Park and the Clone Turf area is so exceptional. It's great, uh, plenty friendly of customers and I, I think I, I'm really proud of our customers. Uh, we have 60-70% approximately. Uh, they're coming back, repeating, coming back every weekend, every Saturday. Uh, we are here once a week, every Saturday. You know, I like to see the smiles on people's faces, eating the sausages. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye. Oh, we have great fun. Yeah. We have great fun with the customers. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and they come back again and again. Yeah, and good they have regulars. A great fun too. Yeah. You know. A great laugh. Um. Uh, 50 50 percent is always the hard work. Is when it's enjoyable. It's a nice work. So not not that hard. I would say it's easy for me. Easy easy place to customers. Easy place to them. Uh, no, I, I do look forward to coming here on a Saturday morning and setting up and having a good day's trade. Yeah. Yeah, well, I hope it keeps going and I hope it gets bigger and better, you know, um, and busier, you know, and um, with more advertising, I'm sure it can be. It's a lovely market, it's a lovely park, so. Uh, Dave McGuinness, how are you today? Great, thanks. Fantastic. You were in the band Lear originally, weren't you? I was indeed, yeah. Yeah, do you want to give us a, a brief history of your musical? Your musical journey, I suppose. Uh, Lear began in 1988 and uh, we've been through everything together. We're kind of not together and together, so we're having a bit of a reunion uh, on Saturday, uh, the 6th of August, in the Donahmead Inn of all places. The Donahmead Inn, very good, okay. So we're, uh, getting back. We haven't played in three years. Um, the last gig we did was uh, was in Whelan's, I think, and it was great. So we just thought we'd uh, do it in the Donahmead Inn, so we're looking forward to it. Fantastic, and when was the last gig in Whelan's? Um, that was in July three years ago, so um, yeah, it was a fantastic night. So we just thought we'd, instead of doing town, we'd keep it, you know, homegrown, so don't meet in. Always the best idea. Yeah. And uh, over the years, you've supported some amazing artists, such as uh, Hatter's Flowers and David Gray. Tell us about your experience with them. They were great gigs. Uh, yeah, just friends of ours, and uh, yeah, with great time. I supported a lot of good people in, in my day as well. Did uh, Wilco and James Brown as well, so... That was on my own though. But with Lear we've we've done we've shared a stage with Cheryl Crow and you know, the other people that you said, so yeah. Good times. So you classify David Gray as a friend of yours, would you? Well our bass player plays with him. So um he's uh yeah, I would would say he's a good friend. He's helped us out in, in times of need, so Excellent, excellent. And so how long have you been playing as a solo artist as Dave McGuinness? Uh I'd say now about ten years or so. Okay. Still trying to you know, plug away. Yeah, absolutely. And so I suppose, I mean, it's going to be hard to say, but what would be the highlight for you out of all the gigs that you've done? You've been with so many artists, but what would you say would be the one that stands out for you? I'd say supporting James Brown and Vicar Street would have been the highlight for me. Yeah. yeah. I remember that gig actually a few years ago and unfortunately didn't make it, but uh, yeah, I'd yeah, say. Great. Got to meet him as well. So, uh, but I was on my own with a guitar, so I was like very nervous, but it was probably one of the best gigs I've ever had. Wow, that's definitely something to, to talk about. Sure. So uh, you're going to give us a track today? I'm going to do a Lear song from over 20 years ago called In A Day. So Fantastic. Song that ever got into the chart, so I thought I'd do it today. Fantastic. Well, yeah, absolutely, 100%. Go for it. job out silver seems that somebody's lost it take a look inside you'll find quite a whole lot to be proud of oh yeah took a look down at the sky seems much grayer than it used to be ask the angel why she frowns or why she won't reply question all you all seek so you may find if there was a way the 
there is another way oh took a look down at the sky while sleeping yes it's true if I were you well you see I I wouldn't be what you are Question all you are now Seek so you may find If there was a way There is another way Got to find a way Question all you are Seek so you may 